Hey guys, uh, thanks for catching this episode of Unplugged. Uh, I want to apologize because I've been trying to fix the audio on this for a while, uh, but um, I didn't find out till when I started editing it that um, my audio was a little off because uh, I didn't wear my headphones when I did this interview and I'm just like yelling in the mic. So I tried to adjust as much as I can, but I apologize. Um, it's still a great episode to watch. Uh, it's going to be partly two-parter. Uh, so here's part one of my interview with uh, my friend Chelsea. Uh, and a young actress uh, in the industry and whatnot. So, um, without further ado, please enjoy this next episode of Unplugged Podcast. Welcome back to Unplugged Podcast. This is my podcast where I have my friends come on and we talk about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually, I, 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 I think I think what I'm starting to enjoy is having artists and performers on to share their stories, hopefully inspire other young artists and other people to pursue their passions rather than pursue... You know what they think is no. I'm not saying don't don't do something you need. Like get a job, do all that stuff, but <laughs> do it passionately and then like live your life passionately because I feel like living your life passionately will always pay you forward in the future. And with that said, uh, I have my good friend Chelsea. Hi. Very talented friend Chelsea, who I, I work with at Knotts uh, Bear Farm for their summer nights, mm -hmm. and uh, we're both um, in the Empire performers. But uh, Chelsea's an actress. She's a performer. Um, she's from. Moreno Valley. Valley. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and, and I'm from Chino Hills, and I did a lot of stuff. And like that's that's the birth the birth of my performance career was in an empire. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because I mean, I, I I I there's some like beautiful and and like really like nice well there were nice places back in the day. I think they're a yeah. lot of them are gone now. They're they're still here, but like I've I've been out of the IE. <laughs> Like theater scene yeah. since 2014, that was the last about, time. It's, it's yeah, last time too. That was yeah. the last the last time I ever performed out here. So it wasn't. Um, I really haven't kept tabs of how it's been going. <laughs> <laughs> I started at, at Chino Community Theater. That's where I did my last production at. Really? Yeah. Oh, like were you at new theater? I was at the old theater. Yeah, the old theater. yeah <laughs> I, was like, I was. Well, which where it was, was big it? as this room actually? Yeah, I was like, wasn't it? Really, I don't remember where the old theater was, but I did it the one. The, it's um the one off of Sixth Street. Seventh Street. Seventh Street. Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, you're Chino. Really yeah, sad. Chino. It's nice. That's, that's see, that's where my heart is. I started there. That's where you started. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 I, I did. I did. That was like literally my last IE production. I did there. What show? Dog sees God. Confessions of a Teenage Blockhead. Oh wow. Okay. I literally did that show back to back. I did a production in Orange County, uh -huh. and I had such a good time. I wanted to do it again, and then I realized that Chino was doing it, yeah. and I did it yeah. again. It is that, do you know what that show's about? I, I'd love to hear it. It is the Peanuts characters as teenagers. Oh! And um, they're... Oh! Going, yeah, it's, and it's not it's weird that knots, family like, friendly, it's, though. It's like, it's like the echoing of knots is still around your Basically, around your basically, yeah. It is not... It, it's it just heads up. It's That's not cool. a family friendly of show. Of course, of course. It's not family friendly. <laughs> there is a lot of like, woo. Uh -huh. It's it's basically teen the teen life of the Peanuts character. Yeah. So. You know, and so I've pl I've done that show three times. Nice. And the first time I did it, I was Sally, and she's going through a phase. Okay. Of, she's going through a phase, like, where she's trying to figure out, like, who she is. But she's, yeah. like, each time you see her, she's dressed in a different thing. She first starts off the show as a goth. Yeah. Which is very fitting for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then two... Um, and then she like is like hip hop, and she like goes through phases through different yeah, phases. As mm -hmm. Yeah, as yeah. And then the second time I did it, I was Peppermint Patty. You what's funny? I, I was like I, when I, when you were mentioning like what characters. Yeah. I, I, when, I, when you said you did the peanut the uh, adults. Yeah. In my head, I was thinking Sally and Peppermint Patty. Like I was like, which is uh, weird because yeah. nobody says that. Everyone's like Lucy. And I okay. played the third yeah. time I did the third time I did the show. I was Lucy. Oh, so you did how many times did you do the show? I've done the show three times. Okay, oh, so yeah. you, you got to play something different every time. I got That's to play fun. somebody That's different fun. each time. Yeah, the second time I was I was a seat peppermint patty, and I felt she fit me the least because she's the stereotypical cheerleader, uh -huh. popular girl, yeah. and very just like you know this. And they spray painted my hair red, and they gave me oh, fake wow. freckles, and I looked awful, <laughs> and I did not think I looked good. I was like. Uh, no. <laughs> so, um, th yeah, and then the third time I did it, I was Lucy. And it's an unauthorized parody of the of Peanuts character, so, you know, yeah. nothing under the Schultz name. Yeah, so yeah. everybody's name is, like, abbreviated, okay. except for Marcy, but they spell her name differently. It's M-A-R-C-I wow. M -A instead of M-A-R-C-Y. I, I mean, has it, been, has it been long enough where the Peanuts are in public domain now? Or? I, I don't know. Well, I think it's just to avoid because of how controversial that show is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. probably don't want to slander the the Peanuts characters under Charles Schultz too much. Yeah, yeah. Because if you read the you book, know, you're like, 
You know, maybe not because <laughs> that 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 that's that's he made it around the sixties. Yeah. So yeah. It, well, it, it not a, like I think even the fifties. Fifties. I think the fifties. The fifties is a trial, how far back? Okay. Because it was a comic strip before. Yeah, the yeah, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, but 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 nothing compared to like because nothing compared to like Zorro or, no, or, like, or like Tarzan. No, no, nothing like those that. Are all, those no, are I all think in, in public domain now. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I mean. That's not point of the story. I'm just yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm just being, um, actually. Actually. Uh, <laughs> well, let me get real technical here. I'm working on, working on my CW uh, Peanuts Gang uh, show right now. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but back to back to basics. That's what um, – that was my last IE show. Oh, ah, okay, that, okay. Was that show. I, I mean, I, I have so many fond memories of that theater. Uh, really? And, and the people there and, like uh, – well, when I was a kid, they're probably all, they're all, they're all growing up and – Having kids of their own now, yeah. they're, they're they're show moms now, probably. Oh wow! Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah, who knows? Um, but um, they um, it, it it's got a lot. I mean, I feel like an empire has like a lot of heart in terms of the entertainers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Whereas when you work in like, like when if I do a show in L. A. Mm-hmm. If I, it, it's, it's it's drastically different from doing a show in the empire. Oh, or yeah. Orange County, you know, like just the vibe and mm-hmm. just the mentality. Like, I feel like if I do shows in L. A. I'm more likely to see people drop. Because it got better part, or yeah. or, or like close, even like close to the, I I those are like we were like a week for the show when the leads dropped because like, oh I got a part like damn yeah sorry <laughs> I, mean, I, got like, a, yeah. I got a part on a show yeah 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 show. Like, I okay I, I mean I, I get it but like yeah. Jesus I mean like I don't know it must must be nice <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> must but be nice that's must the be way nice. it goes yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. way sometimes you have to take um, it better I'm here playing tree number four one more time it's yeah my, my third time playing my third tree. time playing tree number four it's become a seasonal thing for me. So, yeah. Um, but uh, no, that, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but 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 from here, from there to to to, to now, and, and like you know, you you mentioned to me earlier because um, you you do film now too, right? Is yeah, that, uh, I've been doing film since I was like in my mid teens. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you so you. Been... I did a mixture. Of, I mostly did theater growing up, huh. but I started doing film stuff when I was in my mid teens. Yeah. Well, so you, got, you got scouted early, or you just worked into No, I've like... never been scouted. Okay. I've never been scouted. I've kind of accident. My entire career has been one p- big accident. Okay. It's literally been one big accident. Wow. Uh, wow. Well, explain the accident. Uh, okay. So <laughs> I'll, I'll take. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'll I'll start it back from when I was. So I started technically when I was about 11, even though I think it's 11. I've been saying 11 for quite some time, but now that I think about it, it might have been like 12 to 13. I got put, I, shockingly enough, (laughs) I used to be a very shy person, Mm -hmm. very shy, didn't like to talk to people. I, obviously I talked to people, but if you were a complete stranger, I didn't want anything to do with you, but I was very much like, you know, the, (laughs) uh, just very much like no attention. I don't want anything to do with that. I remember, um, at my church, my mom and I were there doing the Iwana's Bible study and, um, we, (laughs) And they were recruiting kids to be in the Christmas play, the, mm-hmm. so a Christmas story. Yeah. Not, you'll shoot your eye out. Not that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The true story. The yeah. Fun, <laughs> um, so the nativity scene, and I think they were looking for like angels or Mary or something like that. But the lady that was running it came up to my mom and she was like, oh, Chelsea would be so good in this show. You should put her in it. Like, and she would like talk to me and be like, honey, do you want to do it? And yeah. I'm like, and I would like almost had like a soft panic attack. And I was yeah. like, mom, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. And I, I'm probably like six. Uh-huh. And I'm like, please, no, for the love of all that is holy, please do not put me in this. I want no attention on myself. Please no. And then all of that changed. Like fast forward umpteen years later, I ended up doing a play Still at my uh, another church, but it was through my school, my Christian school, and we did it's a play called "It's Cool in the Furnace," <laughs> and it is about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Bible. Okay. And uh, it's, they were all thrown into the fire pit, and they were all saved by an angel, and they all came out, and they were fine. And we did okay. that. We did that. Play. <laughs> yeah. so, so Jesus I, saved them. I I I, I I'm um I, I haven't read the Bible. <laughs> so okay. I, I, well, I, 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 I was I was so I was saying the the incinerator or whatever. I'm like oh. Lead with the uh, they're okay first. <laughs> they, they were what? Lead with they're okay they're first. Okay, okay, first. okay, okay. There you no one go. dies. Okay, they, everybody, yeah. everybody was fine. Yeah, yeah. Everybody okay. was fine. But it, um, are we, kids reading this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> but um, yeah. So we we did that play, and I absolutely adored my my director and teacher and everything. She was great, and um, uh, and I was like. Huh. And I was part of the ensemble. I was mm-hmm. just like the chorus, basically, singing. We had to sing a song and everything. Yeah. And I loved it. 
Like it just so, it was like a seemingly overnight sort of thing, and uh-huh. I was like, "Huh? Well, this isn't that bad." Yeah. And so I went up to her at the end of the production after we performed and everything, and I was like, "Um, Miss Nelson, uh, when's the next show?" And she was like, "Oh, it's gonna be in the spring. We're doing the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe." And I was like, "Oh, okay." cool do i have to audition for it and she's like no for your grade because i was in sixth grade at the time they were like okay no for your grade you're just gonna show up at this room like the high school kids had to audition because it was actually part of their curriculum Mm -hmm. but the middle school production had to actually you know like if you wanted like extras just to come and sign up at a room at a certain time so i went and i got signed up and i was a deer I was a talking deer. (laughs) And (laughs) and then after that, I had like an an epiphany and I was like, I just fell into it because it was a requirement. I had to do it. Um, In sixth grade, I had to do it um, for like, I think it was just to get the experience for the sixth graders to do it. Mm -hmm. But I had to complete that to continue on. So does the school do a lot lot of the theater with the middle school and high school kids together? Yes. Yes. Is it, oh, because it's, uh, it's on the same campus? It's all in the same campus. Oh, okay, yeah, it's okay, a okay. school. So, oh, yeah. so they're all connected. Gotcha. They're okay, all connected. Okay. I was, I was like, oh, it's elementary Christian. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, my high school is so far from middle school. So like, oh, okay. Just thinking like, that, they had to bust the kid. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, my, my public school ass is like, what? No, you're okay. I went, yeah, no, I was there from what school? Um, Calvary Chapel. Calvary, Calvary Chapel Christian School. In, in Marina Valley. Oh, Marina Valley. Okay. Yeah, Marina okay. Valley. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's the church I still go to. Okay. I know Calvary had, I know they had. Churches everywhere. There's one I, in Chino. There's one, one across the street. Right across, yeah, there's one across the street. Yeah, there's, there's, there's one in Marina Valley. There's, there's, but that was the, my yeah, church yeah. growing up from like age but did, did the high school too? I thought they were elementary. Did uh-huh. the high school too? They elementary, everything. middle school, just, high school. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yep. So um, I ended up getting put into Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I had my first line. And nice. I was like, this is so fun. <laughs> and, I was, yeah. and like right after that, I went and again, it was, like I said, it just kind of fell into it. And I went to my mom and dad and I was like, can I try out for stuff? And then they're like, you, you try out for stuff. Yo, what? We never, what? I, I guess. And yeah. then I started going out. We got some pictures done of me and started going out and trying out. So, so that's where the, the spark happened. The spark happened. So okay. I owe anything that I have to Mrs. Nelson Yeah. because she's the one that actually made me feel comfortable and actually made it fun. Have you ever got to tell her that? No, I have not. You should. I, I should. You I hope should. I get to see you her should. again one day. I don't know where she is. I don't know. You look her up. You I'll should. look her up. You know, yeah. uh, I so maybe like my second or third podcast, I asked my teacher, my my, my choir teacher, who was the one who kind of like, mm-hmm. who gave, he gave me my first shot okay. to do anything, you know, mm-hmm. who made me feel validated because like, you know, I, I mean, uh, I, I always enjoyed singing. I, I was in a, I was in a, like, I, was, I had a small stand up boy band, you know, but, mm-hmm. but I never, I never like had to audition for something. Yeah. And I auditioned for like a few leads and a few few, a few like lead, leads in the song stuff, uh, in choir. And he gave me that chance. And I remember my first solo, and I, I sang my first solo. And like from that moment, I was like, okay, this is what I want. Like this, I, I, this is what I want to do. I want to perform. I want. I, yeah. I, you know, I, I love uh, entertaining people. Um, and I got to. What's crazy was. Cause your teacher, you think, cause your teachers like they have so many kids that they meet, you know, throughout the years. Like, yeah. do they remember you? Do you remember like the, the those uh, stories that, that about you that that you had or the moments in your life that that were so important to you? Yeah. And we talked about this on the podcast. On the podcast, uh, they came on for mine, and um, he remembered. Like he, well, he, he one, one thing, I always knew I had anxiety, but like I, I never, I didn't know until I was older, uh, but. He mentioned like, oh yeah, you were so stressed because you had so much anxiety as a kid. Like, all made sense. Like, okay, that's why I was yeah. the way I was. But, um, but I, I, I told him like, well, when you gave me that shot to to sing sing for the the, the song, yeah, you know, like like that was a that was a spark that started everything, and that's why I do everything I do now, you know. And he was like so happy to hear that because it's like it's such a crazy thing to realize like, could you give that one kid a chance, or you you put this one kid up on the pedestal for for one moment of their life, right. how it reciprocates and just created. Like it created your your whole self in that one moment. Yeah. You know, like you should definitely call her teacher and be like, Thank "Oh, you I so will much. if I could if or I you can know? ever find her." Like I said, if I, if I, she's I, alive. She's <laughs> alive. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she yeah. wasn't old. What's your teacher's name? Uh, Mrs. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson, if you by by somehow <laughs> stumble upon this podcast in some way or form, thank you so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> from, from me, from Chelsea, from all the all the kids that, you, that maybe you inspired, uh, and to all the teachers who think that like. It's tough right now, and it is tough right now for teachers. Um, you know, there are kids who be inspired by your work, and there are kids that are going to find out who they are because of you. 
So thank you for that, because mm -hmm. uh, like that 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 mean I mean so I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for my, my um, choir teacher, uh, for my for my uh, from Kelly, my, my acting teacher. You know, like I I would not be doing anything I'm doing now if, if they didn't open that door for me. You know, yeah. we talked about uh, the spark, mm -hmm. uh, and now also within that spark, within within that 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 um, career, mm -hmm. you know, there are times where you, you do struggle and you do feel like. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Should I should yeah. I change my mind? <laughs> so so what, was there any moment that you, like that just reinforced that like no no I'm I'm, I'm in the right place like or, or like a full circle moment where like you felt that you were you're doing the right thing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make a dark, I make a joke here and be like, well, it's because I'm not good at anything else. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's not and, true. No, that's, that's, but, not but, true. But, but, that's I, I, not I, true. I can say it myself though because like I have friends who are doctors. I have friends yeah. who, like like know how to like fix a car. Yeah. Or, like or, like know how to live in the wilderness. I don't know any of that stuff. So like I yeah. like, to, to me, yeah, being it, like doing this at, at, like like DJ and just MC and like yeah. entertain people, I'm good at that. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say that I'm not because that's a skill that I have. It's funny because it's might, it might not be a skill that people think that that is important yeah. until they need it. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I've had a specific one. I think it's just an in general every time that I get to do something that I really like. Like it just like any time I get to do it before, it just brings the adrenaline. Yeah. I don't necessarily have a moment where I'm like, yes, this is it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've actually had that moment. Okay. As weird as it is, I think it's just the overall experience yeah. where of me just going like. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sarcastic, and uh, I can't take. I think I'll it's just. It. I think it's a matter of like. I think I'm in the right business because I can't take myself too seriously, and I'm just a huge goofball, and I like making people laugh. Yeah. And I seem to get a laugh out of a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then parents support big supporters. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, That's I great. yeah. There's a lot of kid actors who don't really have. Oh, or, well, okay. So there's a lot of kids whose parents either force them into doing it and the kid doesn't want to do it or it's the kid that really wants to do it and the parent like was like absolutely not yeah neither one of my parents did that so i my both my parents were very much like okay what what are your, what are your parents doing, asking uh, uh for... my dad it was is retired now okay, he good just around. retired good um yeah he just retired after like um, 40 something years at Coca-Cola. Awesome. Yeah. Good he was man. a truck driver Nice. and my mom was a stay at home mom. Awesome. Yeah. She was a stay at home mom. Um, she's no longer with us, but oh, sorry oh, it's all right. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, she would like take me to like all my auditions and a large chunk of that. So when she passed away, I was 17. Um, oh. it was actually during a production that I was doing it's during a play. And uh, she died on our opening Sunday. And uh, talk about how you oh, had a loss. Yeah. I ha how you had a loss, yeah. and you had like the whole cast behind your back and everything. Yeah. I had that. Yeah. And it was great. Yeah. It was really it's, great. It, it's it's an odd experience that I'm sure not everyone's experience, but like the people that do, um, I, I think it does show the community and the also just yeah. the the kindness of, of the theater world. And and it it it's it's good to be reminded about that too because. It, the acting in, in the entertainment world can be very just vicious and very, very, you know, competitive, mm -hmm. you know, but the reality of things, like, I, I think I saw the best in a lot of people yeah. when when Monica passed away. I'm sure you saw it, yeah, because before, before she passed, there was drama, you know, like, yeah. all these girls tell me what to do, all this stuff, but then, like, when tragedy hits, like, that stuff doesn't matter, and you work harder. Yeah. You know, like, like I felt like we really worked harder as a team because... We we wanted to put on a good show for her, you yeah. Know? And, and like, um, my cast actually made a, a DVD of because she wasn't able to see the show. Yeah, they actually and she was in the hospital. As somebody who who's lost a parent as well, um, I think it's important to share stories about mm -hmm. them because mm -hmm. we honor them by by sharing stories about. Them. It helps me helps you remember. Oh yeah, stories about them. Hey guys, um, thank you so much for watching this episode of Unplugged. Don't forget that Unplugged is on um, many platforms, including. Uh, Amazon Music, as well as Pandora, Spotify, and of course, Apple iTunes. I try to keep the podcast about one episode a month, uh, depending on how busy I am, just because uh, I am a working DJ and I have other projects I'm working on, so I apologize. Uh, but I'm glad you guys are listening, glad you're watching. So uh, once again, uh, you can also find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Anyways, guys, be safe, be kind, be you, and I'll see you on the next podcast. Peace.